All right, I thought I'd uh, get back to the ICOM here. Um, so I've taken off the covers, and this is the uh, power amplifier section. Um, the filtering is over here, the antenna tuner's down there, the input section for the power filtering is here. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to measure a particular part of the circuit. So let me show you that. All right, so this is going to be a little hard to see, but uh, this is basically the HF power amplifier, and this is the VHF power amplifier. So this goes out to the HF antenna, this goes out to the VHF antenna. And so they're both being driven by this driver section. So this is, this is a driver that's common uh, for, both, for both. And this is a driver, this is a driver. So there's a connector here where the, the signal comes into the board. Okay, so this signal can be any 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 uh, number of megahertz at all. This this will handle it all. It'll be switched. So um, the way that we see the device, let's go through that one more time. I'll I'll, I'll transmit into a dummy load. So we're going to be watching the transmit power here, and it'll be one one hundredth of this. So it'll say 0 0.2 is 20 watts. Okay. So let me turn the radio on, and I'm going to transmit CW, and we're getting 19 watts, right? 19 watts. All right, so let me turn the RF gain. Uh, I will turn down the RF gain, and we're getting 2 watts, and I can turn it up 10 watts, 22, 24 watts, and then it just flat spots. So the maximum I can get out is about there, about 23 watts. And that happens at about a 50% uh, uh, a 50 turn of the, of the RF output knob. It's like clocked at 12 o'clock. It won't, it, it won't it make any power if you go past that, okay? So uh, let's see, it, and we know it's common to both uh, VHF and HF. So let's see if the signals are correct on the board. All right, like I said, uh, it comes into the board on this connector, and then it goes into the uh, first first driver transistor, second driver transistor, a push-pull transistor, and then it goes out to final, ampl final amplifiers. I'm gonna be probing right here at this jumper. It's a zero ohm uh, resistor on the board. Um, and I will probe here with an oscilloscope. Now, as I clock the RF power out, this should go up and should go down in voltage, right? We should get more and more drive into the section and less and less drive. So if this is able to, as I turn the potentiometer, if this keeps going up and up and up, then I know this something's at fault here. But if this stops also at about a, a 12 o'clock clock of the, uh, of the RF gain, then we know that the problem is someplace else and that the uh, power amplifier is just fine. So we're going to monitor this voltage right here. All right, now I need about six hands to do this. So I'm going to take the scope probe and I'm going to probe that zero ohm resistor. It's right about there and I'm going to transmit. There we go. So we're getting um, I have it on, uh, oh, let me take it off of that. Let me, let me put it into, I had it in normal, normal triggering. Okay, so we see it comes up to about uh, the first gra graduation there on the screen, okay? And that's at the 50% point. If I turn it down, you can see it gets smaller. And so I turn it back to the 50% point. And we're about at, uh, at uh, one division, and then I'm going to go about to the three o'clock position, and it doesn't get any bigger. Okay, does not get any bigger. So, uh, I think I've proven to myself that the uh, final amplifier section is just fine, so it's somewhere else in the loop. Uh, it can either be some other chip that's doing driving. Um, there's about plus 10 dBm, the way that I calculate it, it should be about plus 10 dBm coming into the final amplifier connector. So that, whatever drives that plus 10 dBm could be dead. Or it could be an ALC issue where it's just automatically limiting for whatever reason it really shouldn't be, but it is. 
So, uh, yeah, I think we go from here. All right, just one last close-up if people really wanted to see inside this thing. Like I said before, uh, filtering for the power coming in. This is the final amplifier. Uh, this is the HF section. This is the VHF section down here. Um, and the uh, driver is over here. This is These two transistors are the push-pull for the driver. Uh, this is the first, so the connector here, this, the signal comes in here. I was monitoring here on a jumper. Uh, connect, connect, uh, signal comes in here, it goes through Q1, then it goes through Q2, then it goes through these two, and then it goes out to the final amplifier. So all of that's correct. I probably shouldn't be pointing with my big fat fingers. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, so it comes in on this connector. This is the first, uh, the first transistor, second transistor, the push-pull transistor, and then it goes into the uh, final amplifier, and this and this are the big transistors for the final amplifier and their associated uh, transformer. And then on the uh, uh, VHF side, uh, they're down here. Let me move the camera. A little hard to see, but this is uh, this is one of the VHF transistors, and the other one is is down be behind the uh, behind the speaker here. So yeah, so this is the HF amplifier, VHF amplifier, and uh, yeah. So this whole section now is uh, blessed off. It's uh, it's all working in good condition. So we need to figure out why we don't have more drive coming into this uh, section here.